Hey YouTube, my name is Craftman780 and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today will be a, another video on this map that I've actually been working on for a while. And as I said in the last video, I might do some custom commands. And this is what I'm going to do this video. This will be a custom command tutorial for any of you guys who don't know how to make custom commands. I've recently done this on a another smart TARDIS I was working on, and uh, it went along well. I don't really have many ideas for commands, but if you guys do, I'll add them. So anyway, what we're going to want to do is come up in the time rotor, nope, not there, bust a hole in the ceiling, so the sun should be right above our heads fly out and out here so the redstone is a bit crazy it'd be nice to have it not as such but that's what it is so anyway what we're gonna do is actually grab a not a chain command block I almost said chain grab that 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 and uh, we don't need a torch but what we need is the command well both the command and the coordinates using the block data command 7535 uh, this will actually not be block data command this will be Test for block 7535. The coordinates Minecraft command block 1 because it's facing up like that, facing upward. Command uh, basically what we did last video. Enter custom, spell custom wrong, command, oops, and <laughs> slash, or nope, slash, safeguard, and end that with a curly bracket, copy that, it doesn't have the required MBT tags is what it says, so if we just go ahead and copy that in there and do that and now it has the required MBT tags which is what we want and what we're gonna do is just come over here paste that in there set that to always active place a comparator there and now that's active so what we're going to want to do is have a way to activate it and also make sure that if the um, comparator is on we're not going to have the button uh, be activatable so the button here test for lock 9532 stone button is what number? Oh, one. Okay, one and nine. Alright, so if that is ever active, I'll have that set the button to nine. So I'll come over here, test and see if the button is active like so so no don't make that test for block make it set block if the button is active uh, wait but how am I gonna do this oh you know what I know um, oh I have a repeater so I'll do this that paste the command and we're done so this would mean if the comparator is active, which I'll just go ahead and reset it because sometimes it needs a redstone reset. 
the button is active, meaning we won't be able to enter the command unless the manual input hatch is closed, and now it's active, so we can do that. Or we can uh, um, activate a command inside, like for example, slash safeguard, which will actually just apply a whole bunch of potion effects. So what we're going to want to do is change that to 9, and this will be active. Apparently that's already active. Nope, that's set block. Test for block. And what that will do is it will test for the block, uh, the stone button when it's pressed. Like that. So it'll activate the command. And the command we're doing is slash safeguard. So slash effect. I'm going to have it at P. Minecraft regeneration um, six nines you know what I don't want the regeneration to be instant so I'll just set that to say 11 and have another command here which will be effect at P Minecraft strength also 11 or er, 6 nines there and 11 but instead I'll change that to a chain command block and it'll look like that and the command is already entered just close that make sure the manual input hatch is closed not game mode 1, game mode 0 and we have the absorption effect, which is infinite, and the strength effect, which is also infinite. Now, for example, say you wanted to clear the effects, you can't just say safeguard clear, press the button, and it'll immediately clear the effects. No, you've got to add the command, like so. So slash safeguard clear really simple so all you've got to do is this and have it say slash not enchant slash effect at p clear and now what we are able to do is close the hatch Press that, and the potion effects are still there, okay. So let's see what I did wrong here. This should be working. You know what, I know what's going on. Uh, it's because I copied the command in that block, and when I copy the MBT data from the block or control middle click, it copies the exact same data as in that block, so that's why it wasn't working. The data's got to be different, meaning I have to... I can sometimes control click, and sometimes I have to place the block down that I want, or at least that's a data holder, and input the command via control V, which is paste. So now this should work. As you guys can see here, the command clear is inside of the command block. Let's close the hatch, press that, and no, okay. So why don't we try it here, slash effect at P, clear. Okay, it works. I don't know why it's not working up here. Maybe, no, I have it all right. Why is it not working? Test for block, test for block. Yeah, this is all working. I don't know why it mysteriously isn't now. So, hmm. Let's try just the safeguard again and re enable that. So, it's case sensitive, or at least if you want it to be. So, good. The command works for the safeguard. Safeguard clear. 
try this now. Oh, you know what? I know what was going on. I had a space. The original command, or at least the command I input, didn't have a space, so that's why it wasn't working. Like that, it's just one character after which isn't a space. And yeah, so we can add as many commands as we want. Like, for example, here, I'll add the, I don't know, absorption effect? Or, no, uh, health boost. 11, because 11 is my favorite number. And now, let's open this back up. Do that. Make it say, slash safeguard. Close the hatch. Press that. And since I'm in creative mode, it might do that. Game mode zero. That is uh, way too many hearts. I want to have a single layer of hearts. Uh, let's see here. Not game mode O, game mode zero. So let's clear all of the effects from myself. Effect, crap on 780. C O E A R for clear. Give myself the health boost effect. Six nines. I think four. Yeah. Or, uh, yep, okay. So four is a second layer of hearts, uh, much like a Time Lord has. So if I hurt myself, it ends up regenerating. So I probably shouldn't have dropped down. Uh, mode one. Here we go. Come back out. Change up down to four. And we have infinite health boost, which is nice. And if I just go ahead and type in the other command we just made, slash safeguard clear, close the hatch, and do that, it takes all of the effects away. And now, if we remove the clear, like so, close the hatch again, and press the button, we have all the effects back. Not game mode 1, game mode 0. And there we go. So we have a second layer of hearts, much like a Time Lord has. We have the regeneration effect. Uh, this could be good for like a just regeneration like a time lord regeneration but i'm not that skilled to make like particles not that skilled to use particles anyway but what we should also do is instead of having to type slash game mode one whenever we open the manual input hatch what we should do is come over here and make it so that when we mode one at P like that and slash P mode zero at P like that. And now what we can do instead of typing the command in to go to game mode one or game mode zero, we can just do that and it'll do that it'll change our game mode for us so we can enter the command and something else you see this your game mode has been updated to creative survival creative it'll spam that or not spam it but it'll say it whenever we close the hatch so something we'll do is implement the game rule send send command feedback change that to false and it won't um, tell us that our game mode was updated. It'll just do it without any uh, notice. And we'll, of course, see it. And yeah, so I'm going to take away the effects because the um, particles are a bit annoying. 
Now I know there's uh, MBT code to be able to do that, but I'm not that inclined to know that. I only know the basics, like the block data command. And so this is basically all we need to know for custom commands. Just have, for example, a command block. But instead of the block data command here, we'll have it say test for block. The coordinates, Minecraft command block, one if it's facing up. And then curly bracket, capital C, command, and say whatever you want after a space like enter custom command. And then have a command like slash safeguard, for example and then have something to activate it with like this button here so the button is on the side of the console meaning the data for the inward pressed button will be 9 and it will activate this meaning it will give us the regeneration effect strength effect and the health boost effect all for an infinite amount of time and yes yeah, so that's basically all we need to know and any custom commands that you guys have and maybe even features you have will be taken up by me and implemented into this map and anyways guys my name is craftman780 and let's just plug this hole up here nope go back do that go ahead and make sure everything is good which it is clear the chat because I want to keep it clean anyways guys my name is craftman 780 and I bid you all farewell thanks so much for watching